Now, I've been getting hammered quite a bit by people lately, and they're all bothered or angered or frustrated that I have a platform and I'm denouncing conservatism in Canada. You know, I'm being accused very regularly of splitting the vote. And I just wanted to explain to you why that's the wrong way to look at this. The argument that a vote that I don't place for O'Toole is in fact a vote for Trudeau is complete bullshit. The purpose of my vote is not to get liberals out of power. That's not why I have a vote. I have a vote to drive the political system in the direction I want it to go. That's my consequence I can apply to the political system is my vote. And if I don't like what I'm seeing in the political system, then I'm going to apply that consequence. They're not going to get my vote. Simple as that. Votes don't exist to keep liberals out of power. Votes are to get what you want out of government. Secondly, we have a political system right now that is completely void of consequence for politicians. When you make the argument that if I don't vote for O'Toole, I'm voting for Trudeau, you're pushing that political system towards even less consequence than it already had. There's no consequence right now for any of these politicians to drive any of the behaviors that we want. Think about it. Conservatives come up with shit policies. Conservatives destroy people's businesses throughout Canada during COVID. Conservatives backing mandatory vaccination, things like that. If I vote for conservatives, that's a vote for those things. I don't agree with any of those things. I don't agree with anything any level of government has done throughout COVID. So if the only consequence I can apply right now to this political system is whether or not or where I place my vote, how does it make sense for me to vote for something I don't believe in and I don't agree with? It's pretty simple. Thirdly, historically, people have voted to get people out of power, not for policies that they want. They voted to get people out of power. And what's happened is we've changed the whole conversation from what we want to have in this country to who we don't want in power anymore. And if we continue strategically voting to get people out of power, guess what? This whole political system is gonna shift further and further and further to the left. It's gonna keep drifting. And before you know it, it's gonna be 10 times worse than you ever could have thought it would be. 10 years from now, conservatism in Canada is gonna be right where the liberals and the NDP are at right now. And those parties will be even further left. Not only are we not applying consequence to the political system and to the politicians, we're actually incentivizing this drift to the left because then we reward them with our votes despite their shit policies, despite them drifting to the left. Not because we agree with what they want to do, but because we want somebody else out of power. Now, I'm, I'm not one for strategic voting and people have told me, Rob, this is not a great strategy. It's not a strategy. I'm voting based on morals. I'm voting based on values. Voting based on morals and values is not a vote for Trudeau. It's a vote for our political system to have some level of consequence for politicians. Now, both parties are going the same way. Both parties are doing the same thing. The only difference is one's getting us there faster and they're also not hiding it. Unfortunately, the conservatives are hiding it. So explain to me, please, explain to me, please, how do we drive politics in the direction we want it to go? If not only do we not apply consequence to the political system, but we incentivize this race to the bottom by handing our votes over to these parties that don't represent our beliefs, our views, our values at all. 